Okay guys, and today we'll be finally wrapping things up with the Let's Build videos. It's unfortunate that the waste segment got messed up yesterday. Um, to be honest, I, f I think I fixed the card. Um, I think the problem was the format, so I reformatted it. And now it hasn't been doing that. But without further ado, let's begin. And anyways, uh... Uh, for the waste, I was actually discussing like the aid series, what I thought of it, and what they've been doing lately. And to be honest, the aid series is actually coming to a close. Yeah. So for anybody, um, for anybody that's actually pretty excited that it's coming to a close, I can't really disagree with you. And I say that because mostly because, um, like to be honest, its story needs work. And not only its story, but its design. Um, what I mean by that is basically, like, first off, I'm not going to discuss the plot yet. First off, like, um, for example, the the vegan mobile suits. The vegan mobile suits really need work, in my opinion. And I say this passionately because, like, no way at all... Like, I'll get it, uh, just, like, for review and maybe, like, uh, just to do something, like, customize it. But no way at all do I like the Vegan Mobile Suits except for Legulus and z uh Custom Mobile Suits. Like, the Zedra and the Guraraga, if I pronounce that right. But those are the only three Mobile Suits that I like. And that's because, mostly, be like, the, it doesn't make sense, in my opinion. Uh, like, like, purple... Or, like, darkish green or yellowish. Like, what the hell is that? Like, a kid, it looks like a kid's designing all those mobile suits that they're using. And I know, like, those designs are probably from ExaDB, but to be honest, like, you can't really design it into something more serious. Even the Earth Federation uh, mobile suits look better, uh, especially, like, the Genoases and the Clanch. Like, it looks, like, weird and cheap. But it's still, like, I can really see that as mobile suit rather than the vegans. Because, like, the designs and the features are nice, but the color, ugh, horrible. And I just say that passionately. That's what I think of it. And this is actually giving me a hard time, so I have to cut. Okay, so I figured that out, and now to move on. But yeah, ba ah, crap. But basically, um, yeah, crap on that. But basically, like, uh, I just don't like the designs. And when we go to the story plot, like, if you ask what's wrong with the story plot, almost anybody that's watched Universal Century can tell you there's something wrong with the story plot. And, like, it's in terms of maturity or maybe, like, plot or this or that. But overall, like, nobody's gonna like it that actually watched Unicorn or something like, something like that. Because, like, it's targeting, it's actually targeting, um younger audience and i understand that fully but to be honest i don't see like how young are you aiming because gundam still has like a mature effect for it like what i mean by that is basically like um it, it's supposed to be badass like the mobile suits are designed to kill not to like hold a flower and say peace hey don't kill me and i won't kill you no, like, that doesn't make sense, to, in my opinion. Like, they keep doing that in everything. And I understand, like, that might be, like, a plot thing or, or this or that. But to be honest, like, give me a break. Like, for once, don't shove, like, Akira Yamato uh, down our throats. Especially for kids. If they haven't watched Seed, good. But if they have, they should really reconsider, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I get it overall, but I just wish like the plot uh, was better. But in terms of plot, here uh, so far it's coming to a close. Um, I think 45 is the last episode, and we're passing four minutes. So hold on. Okay, so yeah, basically uh, it's reaching a close, and overall, um, yeah, I think uh, 45 is the last episode. I think. And basically, the last episode that they did was last uh, this last Sunday, which is 45. And I think what they did is basically that, um, like, how should I say? Like, they explained a gap in the story uh, where um, Asimo goes off on his last mission and he encounters Sid, who nearly kills him. 
and basically it's good that they decide to do that but like it, it felt like a spoiler in my in my opinion like a like not a spoiler but um like a filter like uh it's leading up to the bigger episode and to be honest uh it's coming to a close all right um you only have like four episodes left so why not do something better i understand they did like the sid thing finally where they discuss how Asimo actually became a pirate and how he almost died because uh, Sid ambushed him on his last mission. But to be honest, like, I wasn't satisfied with that episode at all. It's pretty nice, though, that they finally uh, showed the Legolas' uh, like, true uh, design and features, like, about time. But to be honest, like, that should have been done, like, maybe at least last episode. Uh, the last one, like 44. Like I just don't like uh, when they keep uh, like just dragging it out. Um, I don't know what the kids like about it, but to be honest, uh, I don't really like it. Um, for the Gundams, the Gundams are actually pretty decent. Like the H2 that I'm building right now with you guys, um, that's decent. But to be honest, like I can't really recommend it for anybody who really wants to enjoy like a serious. Uh, Gundam series. It's meant for kids, and if you really watch it, uh, you'll understand like the problems they have. It's kind of hard to put into words. I just, I just don't like it. Point and simple. Um, I don't really know what they could do that I, that would make me like it. Like the the mobile suit designs are decent, but almost anybody's going to tell you, no, I don't like it. It looks like ugly, but and, and I can't really disagree with that. But I don't know. I guess. Anyways, we're almost done the leg. As you guys can see right here, my hand might be moving off screen. That's not intentional. But anyways, um, I'm kind of really uh, excited to really get uh, build this. And it's been killing me building it slowly and slowly. But I think it's giving me good experience. Like, I, I can probably say, and most people have said it, that my vid uh, video content has increased and improved. And I'm actually happy on this. Like, uh, I really want to make videos that's nice and watchable for you guys. Like, I don't like messing up and doing this or that. Like, I'm trying to get better. And the fact that it's actually working out slowly actually makes me happy. So... Yeah, just tell me what you guys think of the videos that I've been doing. Um, I know for a fact, like, nobody has to do it. I'm not actually, like, happy with the last Let's Build video that I did. Um, to be honest, I, I think I kind of uh, had problems, like, speaking, I guess. I kept uh, stuttering and uttering, but it's understandable. Like, I, it's going to take time for me to really get comfortable. But I still love and enjoy the field, so... Definitely no, uh, not calling it quits. It's just, uh, needs time, I guess. But anyways, there's a part that I need to actually cut and focus on, so unfortunately I have to cut anyways, but, uh, it's already reaching four minutes, so I need to do that anyway. So, I'll be back. Okay, so basically I'm wrapping it up, and you're probably wondering, uh, where's the rest of the Let's Build video? Well, um, I didn't notice, but I passed over 12 minutes, and it's unfortunate. But, uh, for final thoughts... Pretty nice master grade, and this is just a funny uh, leaving pose. Uh, the Spallow is like a suck it position, and the H H2 normal is actually in a position ready to fire his gun at him. Pretty nice position, but I like having fun with these, just having like nice poses. Uh, let me say one for example. Um, when I first got the, the first master grade I got was the H1 normal. And basically what I did with him is basically his hands, I used both his hands, open hands, and I basically had them pointing toward his, towards his uh, sock, or actually like a uh, gut, and basically it was like a suck it uh, pose. I actually posted that on a couple of places, but uh, to be honest, it it sucked. I didn't really take that picture good enough. But I just like having fun with it. I'm not making fun of him. It's just funny to like have fun with it. But I will have like legit poses with him. But basically, I uh, look forward to my review, and uh, that's basically it. I don't really want to spoil anybody any more than I already have with basically what I've been doing. So basically, thanks for watching. This is FlashX007, and... 
Master Grade Age 1 Spello and Master Grade Age 2 Normal signing out. And it's really hard saying like both of them while they're in the same shot, so what yeah, I'm just gonna cut it.